Now we're going to work on her hair. It's dry enough so that it just I can touch it without it smearing. So we're going to be using Nut Break, Nutmeg Brown and we're going to be using the black. I think, I'm not sure yet if I want to do that, but at least it might put some highlights in it with it. So we will see. And I'm just putting it in the um, paper plate. And you can see I still have some of that gold color. I might use some of that to be mixed in with it too. And let's see. We're going to use this paintbrush. And it is a three millimeter. And here we go. It's always so much fun working on these because they, like I said, I don't know myself what they're gonna look like. Oops, I got a little bit of water on it. But it just, every little bit that you add this brings them more and more to life. And we can go back over it. You know, it's, that's the fun part about it. Like I said, if you don't like it, you can get it the way you want it. One of the angels I saw, I'm having fun telling you the stories, you guys, because you relive them when you tell the stories. But one time, it was during that story I told you before when we had to move across country and it was just a tough time. And there was one night when I, we had the moving truck all packed and um, I like to snuggle. I know anybody who's married or you just like to cuddle up with your loved one. And that's one of my favorite things to do. I like to hear his heartbeat. And um, so anyway, this one night, I rolled over. We had the truck packed and we were getting ready to go. And when I rolled over, I saw the most beautiful angel. Oh, you guys, this one was probably one of the prettiest ones I've ever seen. It was, it glowed, it was white, and it was dressed in a white gown, and then it had these beautiful wings, like this, like just like this that we did today, and the wings looked almost like they shimmered like pearls. It was just so beautiful, and the sleeves, it had like the long white sleeves and along the edges of the sleeves were diamonds that glittered. Oh, guys, I can't even describe how beautiful that angel was. And so I, and I, I wasn't afraid when I saw it. I just, it was hovering over Jeff. And so it was putting a message in his heart and, um, and I thought that's just a really cool thing to see, you know. So I rolled over and went back to sleep. And the next morning, he said, Bonnie, he said, I had the strangest feeling that I'm supposed to go into ministry. And um, I said, you know, I'm not surprised. And I told him about the angel. So the angel had been sent in the night to bring a message to Jeff. And I got to see it. And that just the coolest thing. So, you know, so a lot of times for me, I wake up with clarity in the morning. Sometimes I go to bed and, you know, stuff's on your mind and you don't know what to do about certain situations. And then I just wake up knowing the answer, just like it gets downloaded. And I've often wondered, was I listening to an angel? Just like, you know, just like what I saw. So they are greatly at work. They're sent to help us. They are sent to minister to us. And like I said, we're never to worship them. They're created beings. And they love to do their job for us. They love looking after us. And they take prayers up to the kingdom, to the Father. They just, they love us so much. Everything in the kingdom of God is all about love, kindness, joy so 
so now we have a little angel that has a face and hair and wings so it's actually really coming along and you can see every time you add another layer it adds a little more and I think I'm going to try some black in the hair let's just see what it looks like I kind of like that. Yep, I do. I like that. I've really enjoyed spending this time. Like I told you guys, it's just a joy, joyful. And I hope that the stories will encourage you to let you know that you're so loved. We all are. God loves us in the midst of all this hard stuff that everybody's going through. And you know, I think there's so much anger right now with so many such limitations. It's like everything's limited. You can't you can't order anything without it being late and without there being supplies that run out. And we um we actually yesterday went and looked at campers because that's one of our dreams. We want to be able to um, go camping when we're older in our retirement years. And that guy at the place was telling us that they don't have enough inventory because there's not enough people to work in the factories. And there's not enough people to make the chips in the cars and the chips in the phones. And so people just get angry and frustrated. And I just want to encourage you, God is so much greater than all this stuff we're going on. He is in control. He knows what's going to happen. He knows and he has our very best at heart. He's taking care of us through all of it. We don't have to be afraid and worry. We can trust. And you know, if you don't know Jesus, I always love to tell people that he, it's not about religion. It's about having a relationship with Jesus. He is the Son of God. He did die on a cross. And He is the Lord. And it's so simple. All you do is you just say a simple prayer. You say, Dear Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I ask you to come into my heart and make yourself real to me. And I believe that you are Lord. I believe that you were raised from the dead and that you died for my sins. And I receive you, your forgiveness. I receive you into my heart. And in, we ask it in your name, Lord. Amen. And that's all it is. You just say a little simple prayer and you give your heart to the Lord. And then it's really important that you tell other people, you know, that you you tell people what you just experienced and because you know we we don't want to be shy in this day and age that we live in we want to believe that that Jesus is real and he is he's at work and all this stuff even though we don't understand it we don't have to because he is in control so I and you know the Bible is so cool it says that when we pray that prayer the angels in heaven rejoice and they rejoice when one person gives their heart to the Lord. That's how much they love us and that's how important it is. So if you just said that prayer, there's a whole bunch of angels in heaven right now that are rejoicing for you. And it's called salvation. It's called being saved. And I just want to encourage you guys. It's, it's real. And you know, the Lord will make himself real to you. He might let you even see angels and experience some of the things that I have experienced because he loves us all the same. He doesn't treat any of us any different. We don't have to be anything special. We just be who we are. And God loves us no matter what you've done in your life. He loves you. He sent his son to die for you. And he has your very, very best. So I just want to encourage you. But see, she's really getting pretty, our little angel. So we have her wings done and her hair and her face. So we are getting there. Um, now what I'd like to do is I'm going to do a little more on the body, on the dress. So I'm going to make it so that you can watch what I'm doing. And we're going to just add, I kind of like the way the blue shows through because now we're just going to go back and put some shadows in. 
So I think we're gonna use the square, little square brush. So you guys, if you did, sorry, I keep banging this. If you did say that prayer, please put it in, you know, you can leave a, leave a comment in the, in the little box and I'll pray for you. Just let me know. And you know, it's, it's really real. It's real to know the Lord. Sorry, I bumped it again. I keep banging it. I have this on a stand and um, because I'm lefty, I keep bumping it and I don't need to. Now, go back and do some more on her dress. But there really is nothing more important. You know, we don't know how long our life's going to be. None of us does. But yet, heaven is forever. And the stories that I've listened to on YouTube, heaven is... It's a real kingdom. It's like a real, there's real literal lives that people live up there. They have certain jobs that they do and they have things that they do that they will love to do. And um, there's fun things to do in heaven. There's a, there's a beautiful river of life. You can actually go swimming in the water and you don't have to breathe. You can breathe underwater. And God made all kinds of beautiful things for us to experience up there. Kingdoms and worlds and things that we just can't even imagine he has prepared for us. There's even places that you can eat with your family. He makes our own house. The Bible talks about in the book of John, in my house are many mansions and I go to prepare a way, place for you. That's one of my favorite scriptures because the Lord, it just makes me so excited that the Lord has a mansion for me that I'm going to love. And he has a mansion for you if you accept him that you're going to love. And you're going to know people in heaven. And you know, there's actually even our pets will be in heaven. And I know that's hard. A lot of people don't know if they believe that, but I really believe it. I actually had this little cat that I just loved. Her name was Sassy. And she was this little black and white cat. And um, to make sure you can see this, I'm going to move it up a little. There, sorry, guys. Anyway, she, um, I had her for 12 years. And she started acting kind of strange. She started having like these little mini seizures. And, and she started not being able to jump up on the counter to get her food. And I just had a feeling that she wasn't going to live long and she wasn't suffering. She just was getting older. Her body was wearing out. So sure enough, one day she didn't come home and I just knew that she had gone off and died somewhere. And I had the coolest thing happen. I actually saw a vision and in my vision, the Lord was holding her in his arms and I could see her in his arms. And it was like, she let me know that she was going to be waiting for me when I when it was my turn to go to heaven. Isn't that just the coolest thing? And the Lord let me see that because he knew I was hurting. He knew how much I loved her. You know, God really cares about all the things that we care about. Everything that you worry about, He's he knows about it. He's concerned about it. And I just love that, you know just think it's just it just makes me feel so loved and and the bible says that every good gift is from the father so all these things that we think are coincidence are really the lord loving us like he'll send you maybe somebody will send you a card in the mail because god put it on their heart or maybe you'll you know like today when i told you i was sitting out on the on my swing enjoying the day and a beautiful little hummingbird hovered in front of my face. That was a gift from the Father's hand because he knew I would love it. Or, you know, I've had people leave me remarks and tell me that my mug blessed them, a mug that I made, that they felt loved because of it. That stuff just brings you joy. Or he gives you an answered prayer or he gives you your heart's desire for something. Those are all 
ways that God lets you know he's real and that he loves you. See, you guys, isn't this fun? It just, like I said, every little bit, you can see it's adding texture and dimension. And our little painting's almost done. I just want to do just a little shading on this part. It's really peaceful and joyful. I like to worship the Lord when I paint. Sometimes I'll put praise and worship music on, but when I'm gonna share the angel stories, it's too distracting. I've had people say that, so I don't do that anymore. But I'm gonna step back and just look and see. So she's really came out really pretty. I like this one. Um, so I'm gonna go back to packing my boxes again. And I'm gonna put this on pause because I wanna come back. We're gonna do some shadows around the wings and some more colors in the background. But we are, we're getting there. We're going to be using Royal Violet and I kinda of just wanna do some shading around the wings. So we're gonna put some here. And I think I'd like to use the square brush again, the little one. I told you guys, I don't know myself what these are gonna look like. It's joyful. So I kinda wanna water this down. So I'm, I'm just watering it down because I don't want it to be but we're just kinda outline the wings a little bit. Just blend them with my finger. I'll go back and fix the wing. Like I said, every little step that you add adds more color, more layers. And I really enjoy seeing other people's work. I wish I, you know, I, I feel like my purpose really is sharing the stories and encouraging people, but I'm not um, I'm not a Rembrandt by any shape of a means. But you know, the cool part is, if you don't mind simple kind of country looking stuff, that's what I do. And it's a reminder of how much God loves us all. I'll definitely go back and fix the wings. That's no big deal. There's some people who actually know how to paint with their hands, and those are really fun to watch. I tried that, and I mine definitely did not come out looking like theirs. But it is fun to use your hands, too. So you guys can see. Oops, I've got my keyboard under there. That's what I wanted. You see how it kind of makes the wings pop? That's that's exactly what I was going for. I have a 
put music on, but I like to talk to you. This part's kind of fun because, like I said, I'm just adding colors. This is the last part is always my favorite part, this part, when we know we're getting close to being done so we can see what she's going to look like. get a little bit smaller so you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me bring her up so you can see. And then, uh, These are my favorite colors to paint, and they always find my way in my paintings. The um, purple is actually my very favorite color, and I love to work with the blues and the pinks together and green. These are random, I'm not really. And now what I wanna do is put some of the, um, I have some really bright pink. I'm gonna stop for a minute and I'll go get it. Yeah, we're gonna add Caribbean and we're gonna add candy pink because I wanted a, just a little spot of some bright color. And I'm going to use this brush is a little bit wider. And I always like to put the colors on my plate. The, just a pitch of color. We're going to actually do a really fun technique in a minute. Um, I love to put spots of color on the painting. We're going to do the Caribbean blue. I want the colors to kind of blend all in together. And then we kind of go around her hair, her show up a little more. I 
kind of want my little, this is a little square brush. straight up and down. I'm just using some light blue. dark so we're gonna put some of the primary blue we're gonna back to our little dot I like that a little better. I didn't really like that before, but I'm still gonna go back and put some of the other colors into it. Kind of as it dries, you'll see the other colors kind of blend in. And then I'm gonna put her back and, oops, sorry guys, that's my computer thing underneath. See, so you can kind of see every little, you can see the colors underneath, they're kind of muted. That's what I was looking for. That looks great. Okay, now the next part I'm going to show you how to do is really fun, but I, I think I need a little more white. And you can see, I'm gonna show you something, my water is blue. So I'm gonna go change the water because if I don't, it's gonna make the colors not be what I want them to. This is one of my favorite techniques. I'm gonna use a brush that's round and you're gonna, I'm gonna coat the end of it and flick it and uh, make little white dots. See, it just spatters and it makes like, really pretty little stars. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get a little closer. See? And it, I don't, I want it to go all over the place, all over her, everywhere. I'll save this for the last part. I 
and then some of them, the bigger spatters I can make into stars. So I'm gonna take my little tiny brush and then just draw, drag them out. And then you go back and put a dot in the middle And then sometimes I just do some dots. Let's bring it down a bit so you can see. Just makes pretty little twinkly stars. And there all different shapes and sizes. And then I do want to come back and work a little on the wings here where I just bring them out a little bit. They don't look so choppy on the ends. So we're getting there. I really like how this one's coming out. And let's see if I can bring it back so you can see. But you can see the stars really add a lot. And then now we'll bring it up a little closer and we'll work a little more on the sleeves. I'm just gonna erase it. But the details when you go back, it's the paint's dry wet, so I'm trying I'm trying I can rest my finger on that, but so now what I'm doing is just letting the light yeah, put my finger stuck. Not quite dry. I'm getting impatient, you guys. I don't want to wait for it. So like I said, every little bit you add, adds a little more. I don't really like that sleeve. So we're gonna put just a tiny little bit of the dark blue. <laughs> I have a big giant Maine Coon cat who I was, he wasn't happy with me because I shut the door and didn't let him in. And I left the door open, he's sitting here watching me show up to you when we get ready. And I'm just going and adding a little bit of shadows with the blue.
And I kind of want to add a little tiny bit more details to her face. Um, so I have the brown and I'm going to mix a tiny little bit of black with it. And then I just want to give some definition to her face. I got the brush too wet. Just adds a little bit. I think I'll put a little more hair down here. And then I think we're done. Except I am going to sign her. Um, and I'll take a picture when we're done. But I just have enjoyed this so much with you guys. It's been joyful spending time with you. I hope you have been uplifted and encouraged. And, and just know that God loves you. And he has a special plan for your life. He is with you no matter what you go through. And you are all such a blessing to me. And I love each and every one of you. I pray for all of you every day. And I just thank you for spending this time with me. God bless.